What's up guys, Austin from Rock Bottom Cats here and in this video, I'm gonna take you guys along on a kayak catfishing trip. In the video, I'm gonna go over the type of bait that I'm using, I'm gonna talk about the setup that I have and we're also gonna talk about the area that I'm fishing. Oh yeah, we're also gonna catch some fish in this video so you guys stick around and let's get started. Guys, before I talk about how I've set up tonight, I do want to mention kayak safety. Make sure you're comfortable in your kayak, uh, know what your kayak's capable of doing, and be familiar with your surroundings. Um, what I'm doing tonight is obviously somewhat dangerous. Now, I've, I'm familiar with this stretch of the river. I know what I'm comfortable with doing, what my kayak's capable of doing as far as the current and uh, the conditions I'm in right now. but. Just be mindful of that if you do try to fish like I'm doing uh, because you always want to be safe. And one other thing, always wear your life jacket. Daytime, nighttime, it doesn't matter. There's a lot going on when it comes to fishing out of a kayak. Uh, I've got multiple rods out. Um, as you'll see, I got tangled up with a, a fish earlier. Well, I didn't, my rods did. And that can be dangerous. You have a fish thrash around and you get hung up and you fall out of the kayak and you've got lines everywhere. You want your personal flotation device on it could save your life. So make sure you wear that if you kayak fish. But now let's talk about how I've actually got my kayak set up tonight. All right, so for my setup, I've got a three pound grappling anchor thrown out of the front of the kayak, and then I've got a drift sock out the back. And what I've done is I've positioned myself facing upstream. So I've got the current flowing by me, the grappling anchor is holding me in place, and the drift sock is pulling me back downstream. So it's keeping my anchor rope tight and it's keeping me from swaying in the current. Now you can accomplish this by doing two anchors, but I personally like to have the drift sock because it's a lot easier to grab this and pull it in when I, if I need to adjust something. Just be careful if you do do this, if you have strong current, um, obviously it can be kind of uh, hazardous, but that's how I'm set up. Give me just a second, I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you as far as the trolley I'm using and where I've positioned my anchor, and I'll also show you where I've got the drift sock tied on. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the uh, setup real quick. I've got the anchor trolley from Brocraft right here mounted on to, uh, it goes right into like a rod holder mount. So I've got it mounted up here in the front and then I've got my anchor out the very front here. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually show y'all this or not, but back here behind me, I have a drift sock tap tied on to the kayak and that's out the very back of it. So that's how I've got this set up. Pretty simple to do, but just, just be mindful of uh, your environment and the conditions and what your kayak is capable of doing, as I mentioned before, if you do try to. All right, so for conditions and as far as the area I'm set up in, we had a cold front come in wee hours of the morning uh, and with that came a little bit of rain. Now the rain wasn't, there wasn't enough rain to really bring the water um, level up or even increase the flow, but with that cold front, it brought our air temperatures down about 20 degrees, and it also brought the water temperature down into the, uh, I think it was in the low 70s, it got it down to the uh, low 60s. So definitely a pretty big uh, environmental change that took place. And then as far as the area that I'm in, it's a super shallow section of the river. I've got a, a dam here in front of me, and then all back here behind me, it's not but about two to three feet deep on average. Obviously we've got some holes and then we've got some really shallow spots as well through here. Uh, the area is really rocky. You've got big old boulders all throughout the river. So not a deep area, but what I'm doing is since I've anchored up here, I've dropped, thrown my baits out into more or less where the current is, but I've also marked where there's some big boulders underwater and I try to get my baits near them or behind them best I can um, and hope there's some fish It'll come up in there either holding, waiting for something to float by, or maybe even some bait sitting in there and some fish will come in there and feed. So that's how I've set up tonight. Um, and now let's, uh, let's catch some fish. All right guys, so tonight I'm gonna be using mostly cut bait on this trip. I'm gonna do three cut baits and one live bait. And they're all sunfish species. I got a few different types in my bucket right here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a headpiece a body section and a fillet section off of this one big um, sunfish. So I'm gonna get that cut up here in just a second and we'll get it tossed out. Also gonna grab the rods, get them set up. Um, running 
three with a Santee rig and one with a Carolina rig. I'm running about five, what do I pulled out here? I've got five and six ounce coin sinkers here that I pulled out. So let me get rigged up, baited up. Let's see if we can catch some fish. There's my three pieces of bait. So we'll start off. Head piece. I'm gonna hook it right through the bottom jaw, come out the nose, cut get the mouth shut. That piece is ready. Like I mentioned, that's on a Santee rig. Next one. We'll do this body section. And if you notice, I've trimmed the fins off. That way they don't interfere the hook. Come right up to the back here. Make sure there's no scales on the tip of the hook. And that one is ready. All right. And then last but not least, here's a piece that I scaled and I cut the fillet off right here. Let's hook it right up through here. There we go. Make sure there's no scales or anything on the tip. That piece is ready. Now let's cast out. So for the live bait, we'll come right up here at this back of this dorsal fin. Move the scales out of the way. Run the hook through there, and that guy's ready. figured that would happen about the time I start trying to make a video, guys. Good, good fighting fish. Right. Let's see if we can get this closed up. Alright, y'all. Let's see what we got. Come on in, buddy. Good feeling. Pull on that fish. Oh me. I gotta get this camera box moved out of my way. Come on, man. Let's see what you are. Well, I didn't get much uh, B roll for y'all, but. Hopefully I got you a good fish to look at here. Don't go get the drifts up. Oh, he's about to get the drifts up. I think I got him out of it. Nope. He's in the drifts up. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got a good little flatty. That is all up in the drifts up. All right, y'all. See if we can fix this mess I made. Good way to start, y'all. Good way to start. Uh oh. 
might have another one. Let's see if he stayed on there. Yep, there's another one, guys. We're doubled up. We are doubled up. And I'm doubled up in my other life. Let's go. See if I can get that untangled. Oh well. And we might have got nope, we ain't got it out yet. Well, we got a cigar is what we got. Oh man. <laughs> Hope y'all can see that. That's not the kind of double up I wanted to have. I don't even want him in the kayak with me. All right, we're just going to set him back down for it. right now. If I can, because he's just tangling all my stuff up. <laughs> oh, man, what a mess I have back here. Let me see if we can get him. He's gonna absolutely make a mess of everything. This is good, guys. He swam into my other line. Um, he's, that gar is in three of my lines. I can just get that hook to come loose out of him. Alright, there's the gar, guys. So y'all can see him. It's not even in his mouth. It's in his giant brown fin. All right, we got the hooks out. All right, y'all can see him, but I ain't leaving him in here because he's wild and got teeth. Let's see if we can get this thing to let go somehow. There he goes, he's gone. Ooh, that was fun. All right, guys. Now we'll look at the fish. He's uh he's short, but he's been eating. I don't know if y'all can see his little belly hanging down, but he's been eating good. He's getting fattened up, I guess, for the winter. So pretty fish. Tickled to see a flathead. I haven't gotten to see one of these in a little while. I'll grab a picture and we'll get him back in the water. Alright, buddy. Back in the water. You go. And He's gone, guys. I think that flathead came on a headpiece. I think. So I'm putting another headpiece on. And we're gonna try to do that again. All right, there we go, headpiece. guys oh 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 there we go if I can get the rod out there it comes all right now maybe we got a catfish I've been getting guard to death back there tonight so that right there feels and sounds like a catfish now the problem I've got is he turned my kayak too much and I got to get around this drift sock. We don't want a repeat from last time. All right. 
Come on in, buddy. Let's see. There he is. I think we got it the blue cat this time. Based off of how he's thrashing out there. Got to work in between. Yeah, we got us some blue, it looks like. Working between these, this line and the drift sock. Oh, oh, oh. Don't, 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 don't. Turn back. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah, pretty blue. Pretty blue. That one came off of the uh, fillet piece. Hopefully he's hooked good. I'm gonna let him let him thrash here just a little bit and try to get some of that energy out before I put him in the floor of the kayak. All right, let's see if I can get him on around here. We still got a little bit of energy, guys, but I'm going to try to get them on in. All right. Ah, there we go. Yeah, he got a little bit of belly on him, don't he? All right, guys. Here he is. Uh, 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 calm down. Pretty fish. Slide back so y'all can see him good. He's definitely uh, he's definitely been eating. I'm gonna grab a couple pictures and uh, we'll get him back in the water. Like I said, he came on that fillet piece, and uh, I'm gonna put a fresh fillet on and uh, see if we can catch some more. All right, fresh fillet going on right now. Look at just like the last one. If I can keep it in my hands. Alright. There we go. Alright guys. I think we got one on this one. Yep, we got one on this one. All right. Hopefully he doesn't go get all tangled up in all my other stuff. Let's see. Yep, he's gotten into this one now. see what we can do here. Definitely has uh, been my night of tangles. Oh. <laughs> He's got some spunk, y'all. Oh, me. Let's see. I knew I had that green rod a little closer to this orange one a while ago, but I was lazy and didn't recast it. So now I'm going to have to deal with it, but we'll figure it out. Looks like we got a flatty. He's all up in all my stuff now back here. Let's see here. I 
All right, we got them out of the drift sock. I've just got to try to get this rod. Come on in, buddy. Yeah, that's a flathead. We can keep from losing them since I've got such a mess here. Yep. We're getting close. There he comes. There he comes. I'll try. To do a little maneuver here without dropping my rod in the water. It's not usually this messy, y'all. I'm having a bit of a hard time tonight. Get out from under there. All right. Let's see if we can land him. Another pretty fish, y'all. Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, guys. There's our second flatty. Pretty fish. Definitely glad to get him. That's another one on cutback, guys. He, um, I think that was the body section on that side. I kind of got mixed up while ago, but I'm pretty sure that was the body section. This is the head piece over here on this side, but. Either way, another piece of cut bait with a flathead. Tickled to see him. I'm going to grab a picture and then uh, we'll get him back in the water. All right, guys. Let's get this guy back in the water. And there he goes. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for this trip. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I uh, enjoyed making the video. And I hope you picked up some good tips. And uh, if you're looking to get into uh, fishing out of a kayak for catfish, I hope you saw just how much fun it really is. Uh, even the smaller fish are still a ton of fun to catch in a kayak. Um, if y'all have questions on anything, uh, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button for me. And if you want to see more of this, check out my channel, Rock Bottom Cats which will be in the links below. Now, one other thing I want to mention is the Catfish Conference. This is on the uh, Catfish Conference YouTube channel. And uh, one, don't forget to subscribe to their channel. There is a ton of great information on there, anything from fishing to how-to type videos on here. So uh, make sure you check out the other, other content they have available on this channel. And while you're at it, check out the links below that they've included. Uh, this will take you over to the Catfish Conference website, and it'll let you know if there's any upcoming events such as the uh, upcoming Catfish Conferences. So uh, make sure you check that out while you're at it also. As always, I appreciate all you guys taking time to watch my video, and I'll catch you guys next time.